If you're watching this, there are high chances that you have long been a part of the K community. Yet, can you distinguish the two terms OnlyFan and Akke fan? Firstly, just by the name of OnlyFan, you probably have already said something about its meaning. Basically, an OnlyFan is someone who just stands one member of a group, and literally ignores the other members. To avoid getting into civil wars with the rest of the fandom, OnlyFans usually never confirm their bias. Then, we have Akke fan. Akke is the abbreviation of Aksyong Gain Payan, and this word refers to those who only love one member of a group, but instead of giving zero care to the rest, these fans would insult and even try to harm the other members in many ways. Put another way, the main difference between an Akke fan and an OnlyFan is respect. While OnlyFans would treat the other members with dignity, Akke fans would put down the rest so that only their bias can shine. Though it seems the badmouthing habit of Akke fans could only do harm to themselves, the careers of both the idols they stand and hate are also put in great jeopardy. Since Akke fans are relatively toxic but yet to be covered in enough detail, today's topic will be about them. The non-disposable proportion of fans that was, is, and will still be grating on the nerves of the K community for hundreds of years more. Every coin has two sides, and it should first be recognized that Akia fans are quite helpful in asking for equality among members, because they would be super dedicated in the case where their bias doesn't receive the treatment he or she deserves. For example, there was a time when BTS's Jin was a little left out and often given the least lines in many songs, like his four second of individual screen time in Not Today. Beside normal armies, Akke fans also stepped in immediately and asked for a proper promotion for Jin. They not only acted as a catalyst to push Jin to improve his vocal techniques, but also make Big Hit take more careful consideration in distributing singing lines and screen time for the whole group. Sadly, flipping back the coin, the number of adversities that Akke fans bring about obviously overwhelms the sole benefit. First comes the wretched aftermath that they cause to some K-pop groups. As Akke fans often have their attention fixed on one member and will always downgrade the rest, the image of these unfavored members would sometimes take a nosedive despite their doing nothing. Take Miss A, for example. When Susie's reputation rocketed after her role in Dream High, nearly the whole fandom stand her only. However, some fans chose a toxic way to show their love to Susie. They developed a hateful attitude towards the other members, Faye, Jia, and Min. These Akkes think their favorite idol should thrive at the cost of others. While Susie received a massive amount of support and recognition, Faye, Jia, and Min were terribly dished. When Miss A had a comeback, the whole promotion was always called the comeback of Susie and friends. Of the triad, Min got the most hate for not only her appearance, but also for the rumor that she bullied Susie while the group was still active. Though it was never confirmed to be true, Ake still hated on her for such baseless accusations. Besides, Gia was also bashed for how she never contributed anything to Miss A when her contract ended. While some could mistake these bad-mouthing netizens as anti-fans of Miss A, they were obviously Susie's Ake fans. Look at this. Most of the comments were pointing fingers at Gia. These people claimed Gia could only get that far thanks to Susie, and criticized her for making a lot of money despite the fewer efforts compared to Susie. From the case of Miss A, we can see how Akkes indirectly harm the group's career. They cause conflicts between members in a group and probably are one of the main reasons for Miss A's disbandment. As K-pop is an industry where money and profits come first, when a member receives more love compared to the others, the management company will take that as a green light to invest all resources in that member. If such a heavy investment takes place for a long enough period, other members would feel like they haven't received what they deserve, and thus, starting to stand against the collective benefit of the group. In the case of Susie, it is rumored that after she got explosively famous, the relationship between her and the other members soon hit rock bottom. The peak of this whole conflict was when Susie was absent from Gia's birthday party for no clear reason. After pictures about the party were posted online, Susie's Ake fans brought up the story about how she must have had to split her income with other members. Linking it to Gia's birthday, these Akkes accused the three members of leaning on Susie's fame. Under such overwhelming criticism, Miss A decided not to renew the contract and ended up in disbandment. Besides causing harm to idols, there are some adverse effects that Ake fans could also bring to the fandom and their own bias as well. First comes the fandom. With the toxic mindset and discriminating attitude of Akkes, they have negatively impacted how the public sees the Phantom as a whole. These people just don't like it at all when there's an opinion denying their biases' capabilities, and they always ignite a fan war for that. For example, many fans used to hate the whole EXO's fan community because some EXOLs got aggressive in proving their biases' superiority. Or more recently, a systematic plot to sabotage BTS's Jimin, created by 41 Akke fans, was revealed, thus raising questions about the unity and authenticity of ARMY. 
According to a fan, she received screenshots of the messages from 41 malicious armies who silently post malicious comments about their unfavored member, which was Jimin. This fan said that these people were triggered when Jimin's Black Swan performance went so viral. They didn't want him to be more popular than the other BTS members that they stand. To downgrade Jimin, these Akkes even sabotaged the writer of the article so that it would get taken down, and thus disappear from the trending topics. After about two hours since the original article was removed, it was re-edited and re-uploaded without mentioning Jimin in particular. Besides, this fan also exposed that these Akkes even came to other articles about Jimin to leave malicious comments. This is such a nightmare. Second comes the biased idols. Worse than the previous case, Ake fans could also reflect badly on the idol they love. It's clear that if one idol is biased by toxic fans, their image can also deteriorate in the eye of the public. Take the case of Blackpink's Jennie, for example. Though she's often picked out to be the most favorite member in South Korea, she also has tons of anti-fans who just wait for each of her tiny mistakes and make a storm into a teacup. So why Jennie? Besides the fact that Jennie's fame can make others simply jealous and grow out of her, the AK fans also played a role in this mass hatred towards Jennie. After Jennie's fan cam on KBS Cool FM in 2018, netizens, and especially Blinks, were triggered by the act of her Akke fans. The cameraman was trying to film Jennie, but suddenly got Lisa on camera. Jennie's Akke fans didn't hesitate and blatantly insulted Lisa because they thought she was trying to take Jennie's spotlight. It was only after the incident blew up on the internet that the Chinese fan site of Jennie, Double Class, spoke up and promised to take the responsibilities for this wrongful action. However, their apology was regarded as unauthentic because Double Class also added that it was not completely their fault. Thus, the mindset where Akye fans will be willing to do anything for their idols, even at the expense of other members, has made netizens have a negative impression on the idols themselves. Put it another way, it's pretty much like when you misbehave and people point fingers at your parents for not raising you well. Take the case of Wendy's Akye's, for example. In the attempt to take the best photos of her bias, this fan pushed Irene out of the way and ended up hurting the female idol. As this person only apologized when the incident was published online, not right at the time she pushed Irene, the images of both the Phantom and Wendy herself were adversely impacted. In China, the problem with this type of fan is even more alarming. Though this situation happened with a lot of groups, it seemed to be most apparent in the Blink community, the alleged most fragmented fandom in K-pop. The most serious case was in a scene that blurred out Rosé, Jenny, and Jisoo in this Blackpink Pepsi poster with her phone, screenshotted it, and posted it online, saying because the other members are Korean, they shouldn't be allowed to appear in China. While it seemed to be a political issue, this was in fact a typical case of Aki fans mindlessly downgrading other members in order to buff their bias. After the person posted it online, tons of other CNET started to repost the picture with malicious comments saying that, as the other members are Korean, they shouldn't be allowed to appear in the country. As the number of consequences obviously overwhelms the benefits brought about by Aki fans, do you think this problem could end anytime soon? And are there any other cases related to Aki fans that I forgot to mention? Comment down below to share your thoughts with us. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Be Boss TV because we'll be back with more interesting content. Thank you for watching.